Well, we officially had a printer malfunction to the point of death. Um, the control board on printer number one decided to uh, call it quits. So, today I'm going to be replacing said control board. Hopefully get it all uh, reconfigured. One hands. Didn't really want to pull the printer all the way out, so we're kind of doing this in the hole a little bit. I actually got to do this uh, twice because this first control board I thought maybe was wrong and I ended up replacing it with another one. So yeah, this is not the most convenient place for doing this sort of an activity, but it all, it all works out. It's actually a pretty safe place for uh, the board to be located because you never really get access to it. Probably look at this diagram real quick. They're mister for the bed. There. Alright, and this is going to be a little bit of a change. I got to actually make the connections there for that stuff. So this is going to be for the extruder. And one of these two fans is going to be right. Okay. And then that's the extruder. Goes to the bottom one. This is a quick change. Alright. So that's my X. motion and the Y motion end stop okay and there's my Z servos it's not too bad all right let me go find a screwdriver real quick so I can make some of these power connections.
think I might have inverted those two weights. That's weird. Let's try that again. Well, that was right. Why is it not talking to the display? So we got the display is lighting up, but it's like it's under bolted or something. It's weird. Well, I'm have, gonna have to do a little more research, but I might have just wasted 30 bucks because that might be the wrong style of controller for that that particular board. So yeah, a little more research and we'll go from there. So I gotta change controllers I, or. Change just LCDs, I guess I'll have to. Alright. First thing I need to do is change my my steps per millimeter. Take this thing. Uh, I'm still learning this interface. I, I fully understand why they switched to this newer interface. All right, now we're finally warming up. Man, I really dislike this uh, thing. All right, once we get up to temp, let me get this fan pulled off. Load some fresh filament in. Now we're going to put this thing to the test uh, the hard way and actually just run it through a, uh, a program that I've been holding off on. Well, so far it looked so far so good. Uh, probably won't know how it all fits until this is done printing in you know three hours or so. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll see what it does. Uh, I might have to change the feed rates on the the X and the Y they just they just seem different. But I'm guessing they're okay because it came right to the corner of the bed when I homed it. So, you know, that, uh, that gives me hope that it's, it's fine. So, anyway, uh, I'll bring you back once we're all done and I know if this is going to be correct or not. Well, I was hoping for a uh, triumphant return to service, but uh, that unfortunately is not in the cards. Um, yeah, I have uh, some kind of a retraction issue. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was the G-code or not because this is the second attempt at this piece and this is the third attempt but on the third attempt I redid the slicing from scratch and I quite literally when it just did, when this one didn't come out I grabbed the exact same roll of filament and the exact same SD card plugged it into this machine and got really beautiful results out of it so that tells me that I still got quite a bit of work to do to this one to bring it back up to speed. So, not sure where it's going next, but uh, it'll be an adventure all its own. So, Alright, so after uh, much headache and struggle, I was, doing, I was printing a, a jaw set as my test, and it started having weird extruder issues. So... I switched to something that I know the G-code was good, which was this, you know, which is the Hypnotote. So here's a, one that came off of the printer before it broke down, or it could have come off the other one. I don't even remember. And we got one that looks just beautiful. 
you know, running similar filaments. Um, but I had to just to kind of show how bad this thing was. This thing, because the it would it would uh, miss a step when it was retracting, and it just basically it sounded like it was actually skipping, but the uh, basically the servo was just going the wrong direction when it was when it wasn't supposed to. But yeah, so after a couple many false attempts, I finally got this one to print, and uh, at this point, I think the printer is going to be fine. It's just a matter of uh, proving it out and cleaning up my wiring mess, because that's just a nightmare. You still have the old servo just hanging there. But uh, that's pretty much it. Just a matter of making this thing uh, look decent again.